We are now going to complete step two of the posting grades process to make them visible in the parent and student portals. You should have already completed step one of the posting process, updating post columns, and optionally rounding student scores. While in your Aspen gradebook, select a class and click on the scores tab. In the Grade Columns view, select Post Columns Term. Note that you may need to change your view to Q1 in the Next View option. You should see your students' Aspen calculated grade averages for the term in the T1 GRD or Term 1 Grade column. The push pin in this column is probably green. That means that you have not yet posted grades for this quarter. It may also be black or red. It doesn't seem to matter what color it is. Any grades that you have manually changed will appear in the T1 GRD or Term 1 grade column with a red circle. You may have students whose status does not allow you to post a grade. Notice this list of entries for various situations when assigning a grade is not appropriate. If you have any students in one of these situations, input the appropriate code in the T1 GRD Term 1 grade column. Note that while the grades are shown in numbers, corresponding letter grades are printed on report cards and transcripts are sent to colleges. You are now ready to post grades. Click Options, Post Grades, or click the Post Grades button located in the top right of the page. There are no options in this post wizard. Click OK. I have already posted grades once, which is why I see this pop-up message. Congratulations, your grades are now posted. Note that you can go back and repost your grades as often as you want while the grade window is still open. After the grade window closes, administration will generate report cards that will appear on the student and parent Aspen homepage.